You know, I could easily do a number of videos about some of the con artists out there. There's so many. But I find it to be time consuming in terms of research, in terms of uh, video creation, editing, uh, interaction with people. It's very time consuming and I don't make a buck off it. So when I was doing it on a regular basis, I was making not a sausage, bugger all. And for some people that's fine. You know, if you want to do that, if that's your hobby, yes. It's also very stressful. Because you went with all the people who kind of um, don't want to admit they've been conned, or they are in the process of being conned, who like to defend the con men. Now, the people I used to talk about were typically uh, New Agers, healers, uh, some uh, Christian and other kind of uh, con men. And I made like several thousand videos uh, on previous channels. But uh, in any case, I don't think it's really a productive thing for me to do unless there's some kind of demand and not just that but also I want to do it in and of myself it's something that I would wish to do uh, to perhaps raise awareness about certain types of individuals and it's not always to do with the individual themselves the actual con man because usually the con man or con woman or con person the con artist they're merely one example of literally thousands of people doing the same sort of thing around the world or maybe not thousands but depends on the con and so as a result it's about raising awareness helping people to understand that this bullshit happens there are people out there who are willing to steal other people's money for no good reason they might call it a business and they might even believe in it to some degree and they might not realize they're passing on a series of contracts as genuine spiritual mystical power or scientific power if it's pseudoscience but whatever the case may be they might not realize they're passing on nonsense as if it's real and that's where criticism should come in and at no point is that bullying by the way i know some people get offended and they say that's bullying it isn't if it was bullying it'd be based around the aspects of the person it would be ad hominem based it would be insulting their appearance uh the way they speak perhaps, um, things of that kind, or getting personal about some of their um, personal issues in their life. I could have gone off on one about a particular YouTuber who's come back since she left. Uh, she left a while ago, but then was able to get her uh, channel reinstated. Um, a YouTuber called Rose New Blueprint 4848. And I could have gone very personal because I had people from her family contacting me. Well, family, people who are connected to her and the like who are basically saying, if you want to talk about it, talk about this. And I was like, I don't think I will. Because for me, it's not about getting personal. It's about what the fuck is this moron saying? And it's the same for other people as well. Some people just simply go to the, you know, moronic, trolling, um, lowest standard, basically, lowest standard of trolling, just simply insulting them. Oh, that's fucking retarded. Oh, look at their face as well. It's like, why bother doing that? Not worthwhile. I suppose that would be a kind of bullying, in a way. Or useless. Not even criticism, but whatever you wish to call it. But in any case, I didn't think that would be productive. It's a good reason not to get involved in too many of these petty debates with some of these people who perhaps don't move beyond that. But if it's about raising awareness, you're focusing on what they're saying. They said this, they said that. Is that what they actually believe? They're acting like they do. No, no, it's taken out of context. No, it isn't look back at the video clearly in context but some people don't want to admit some of the ridiculous claims they've made or the scams they've set up or whatever the case may be and that's why people like you like me others out there might mention some of these people on occasion because it will encourage people who perhaps don't know any better to think again this is a documentary piece by the bbc no not at all